if we look at all the possible add-ons, these are shown on screen uh, right now, or the most important that I think are there. And I have outlined them um, and, yeah, in the different categories. So you have Microsoft 365 E5 security. And on the right-hand side, you see all the columns for Office 365 and Microsoft 365 and how you can add an add-on on top of. So if it says not available, that's not possible. If it has a plus, it can be included. And if it has a dot, it is already included. So if you want, have an interest in Microsoft 365 E5 security and you currently already subscribe to Microsoft 365 E3, you can add an add-on to Microsoft 365 E5 security instead of buying um, yeah, the full suite. And the same with things like a phone system. If you have F3, you can add phone system on top of uh, your F3 license or E1 or E3. Uh, basically, all the products you could add on a phone system license to. Um, this is continuation of the previous slide. So uh, have a look at uh, if these products are in of interest to you and where you can add them on to. Moving to from SA pricing. So as I explained earlier, from SA pricing is a beneficial price premium, uh, but only in certain cases. So if you had an enterprise or a pro desktop uh, with uh, the, yeah, the suite that I shown on the left hand side, and you want to move to Microsoft 365 E3 or E5 upon your renewal, you can do so uh, by buying from SA licenses um, for all the uh, users and, and or devices that you had uh, a pro or enterprise desktop license for with active software assurance. And then you get a 15% price premium opposed to the full USL price. In an EAS where you rent the licenses, uh, you would need to have three years of full coverage um, for an enterprise or pro desktop in order to qualify from, from SA licenses uh, in your EAS. So if you bought additional licenses midterm, like for a year, year and a half, or two and a half years even, uh, those licenses would not qualify to move to from SA upon renewal. From SA is um, yeah, described in the product terms as well. It's available for all Microsoft online services that have an on-premises counterpart. Appendix C of the product term state all the From SA entitled licenses. You should always leverage the From SA pricing for all software that you are using. Sometimes Microsoft is even able to grant you more From SA than you are entitled to. So uh, always ask what your options are when you are discussing this with Microsoft, uh, a 10% uh, additional uh, quantity for from SA than you are entitled to is usually not that weird of an ask. And then step up licenses, step up license grants you the ability to move from a lower edition to a higher edition. They are only available in the enterprise agreement program. So in CSP, you don't have step up licenses. Um, maybe this will change towards the future because as of now, you are able to procure licenses for an annual term. Um, so they might be able to add step up licenses here, or it would be very valuable if they did so. In case of a cloud subscription, it could mean that you can move from a lower edition suite like Office 365 E3 to a higher edition suite like Microsoft 365 E3. It could also be that you go from Office 365 E3 to Office 365 E5 or M365 F1 to M365 E3, et cetera, et cetera. There's many step-ups available. Also from components to suites, step-up license helps you to reduce cost on your subscriptions by allowing to only pay for the additional set of features that is available in the higher edition. When acquiring a step up, it replaces the lower level edition subscription licenses. However, for subscriptions, the lower edition will show up in your admin portal. So if you, for instance, step up Exchange Online Plan 1 to Exchange Online Plan 2, these will both still show up in your Microsoft 365 admin portal. So you should be aware that you have used a step up and 
are actually not entitled to use the lower edition version again for other users because you need to have both of them assigned to the same person. Additionally, it will not always state that the higher edition is a step up from the lower level edition. So that makes it even worse in your license management. Um, as an alternative, uh, at your anniversary for your enrollment in your enterprise agreement, you can swap out any subscription license step ups and the lower level edition for the higher edition uh, at your anniversary. But then you need to take into account if when you have, for instance, discounts on top of uh, the original license, if that makes sense from a pricing perspective. The top commercial step ups are listed here. Uh, there are a lot. So here you just see E3 to Office 365 E5, um, and uh, Microsoft e uh, 365 E3 or Office 365 E3 and EMS E3 step up to E5 compliance. Um, but there's things like, um, I don't know, um, a Microsoft 365 E5 compliance step up from um, Defender for Office 365 Plan 1 or something like that. So uh, always check if there are step ups available. If not, then you should always ask Microsoft for a credit uh, for the overlap in uh, functionality that you might need to purchase. <clears throat> 